University of Gurudev, which is sung in Hindi language. Although the words are very simple, but just as Shri Gurudev has already given a glimpse of the idea or theme which is contained in this bhajan, it's so deep, it's so full of deep devotion that a disciple is feeling in his heart for his Gurudev. And line after line, he is so nicely expressing that how he is feeling that connection at his lotus feet and he doesn't have any other shelter to look at. This stage of a devotee actually is not a very ordinary stage. Here he is understanding the idea of the relationship. What does it mean by having a guru in one's life? All other relationships which one may have or one has or one experiences, husband, wife, brother, sister, whatever, all those relationships are actually useless, meaningless, because in all other species we experience. Only in the human form of life one has the chance to experience the relationship of a disciple and guru. So here, the disciple is crying out for the mercy. How he's crying? He says, O oh Gurudev, please give me a drop of your mercy. And what kind of mercy I want? I want to reside eternally at your lotus feet. So, Kripa karke munchuko apanalena. Although in my heart I see it's full of so many anarthas and it's so dirty, it's so contaminated and it's stinking. Yet still I pray to you that you give, uh, you clean this heart and accept it and engage it in the services of their lordships. And I know the path of bhajan which you have told me, which you are showing me. I want to follow that. But, but this path is so difficult for me to follow because of my inabilities, because of my inertness, because of my material conditioning. So, I pray to you, just like a boat, when a boat is caught in any whirlpool, then we can understand what is the situation, especially when the whirlpools are formed in the oceans, they are very, very dangerous. They can suck in big ships also from kilometers and miles away. And where the ship goes, nobody knows. Nobody can save that. So he is feeling that the boat of his bhakti or his endeavor in Krishna consciousness or the path of bhakti is like that. The wave, the whirlpool of material sense gratification and anarthas is so strong is so hard that no matter how hard he's trying to go away and follow the instructions, it's sucking him back in that whirlpool. So he's saying, my nav, my boat is about to drown any moment. Please save me. Without you, no one can save me. And then in the next verse, he's saying, Yes, Tum sukha ke sagar ho, bhakti ke sahari ho. You are the ocean of happiness, eternal happiness and bliss. Why? Because you have pro Why he should uh, glorify or remember his Guru Dev? Because now he becomes like a Guru. He should not do because now he is perfect. And he makes oh, so many disciples. Oh, when he becomes perfect, and fun side. Then he can know the glory of his <coughs> Narottam Thakur. He took shelter of Loknath Goswami. And when he matured, he was mature. Then he realized the glory of Loknath Goswami, not before. So any disciple cannot know the glory of glorification of his Guru. When he knows, and to become some perfect qualified. Now I am realizing very Gurudev. Srila Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddham Sarpati, Bhakti Mino, Thakura Rupa Goswami. Before, when I took initiation, nothing like Jura I was. But now I am. Hmm? Somewhat I am realizing their mercy. I weep for their mercy. I weep more. I want to meet. 
Because that he never returned back to his home. Why? And why did he return back? Ninety-nine percent. <coughs> What are these? Why Rup Goswami never returned back after he met Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he became <coughs> and obeyed whole life. But he never returned back to him. Why? We see Sanatan Goswami also. All the associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Gadadhar Prabhu? How he was? Why he did not return to his home? What are the reasons? We go to our Guru. And some days we serve him. Obey. But why we give up? Because no guru is that we test them. And if no guru is there, then what becomes? He will have to take him back. I want that he should not return for the whole lives and lives serving them. Then bhakti may be achieved. Otherwise, not bhakti, not a <coughs> toy, not a toy. If anyone has a strong faith on his guru, lot of faith, and so much a strong faith in bhakti, then how he can do it? Never and never. So you should be ready for this. Otherwise, you cannot have bhakti, real bhakti. Semblance of bhakti you may have. So, we begin from where? First day. 
a question was there. Oh, we want happiness and we think that this world is full of happiness. But really it is not so. Dilli ka laddu jo khaya wo bhi pashtaya, nahi khaya wo bhi pashtaya. The sweet laddu of Delhi is so attractive that those who have not eaten they desire for it and because they have not got so they are lamenting and those they have eaten now they are lamenting that why they ate it. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, Dilli ka laddu, oh very big big. <laughs> but it will come to, or it will be minimized, so nothing is there. Hawaii, the name is Hawaii, Hawaii mystery. <laughs> nothing is there, no taste, nothing. So this world is like that. So we have explained all these things. Also you, we explain this Swarup of Jiva, Jiva Swarup. We are not this physical body. Oh, very well we have explained. Oh, yes. Now also yesterday in our class we explained varieties of mood, varieties of objects and or the process to have this. One one object and one one process for that. And from Brihad Bhagavatamrita. You be explained. Swarga, Mahajana, Tapa, Sakta, Brahmalok, Mohini, Lok, seven layer of the of this world. And then Vaikuntha Lok, Ajodhya, Mathura, Dwarka, Mathura, Vrindavan. And even in Vrindavan, Gokul, Nandagao, Varshana, and then Vrindavan or Rasasthali, then Govardhan, and in the last, Radha. Sarvini there. So there are so many objects and so many processes. You will have to choose them all. What should be your object? And after that process, in Chaitanya Chaitanya, in the first three, four chapter, Malini had described about only oh, object. And after that process, process in the root, Siksha, Sanatan Siksha, Raya Ramananda Siksha, everywhere. In the lost. So we should have to select any object of if you are, your objective is to be happy in this world, oh, this is like zero. Like what? You are in Galena. You are like animals, pigs, hawks and all. Go karaha. Oh, what is the meaning of go kara? Oh, Pandiji? You can go cut. In animals. Oh, donkey. And why donkey? Bitten by the hard lengths of his. <laughs> Blood coming from nodes. But, oh, running, running, running. He don't care for. Oh, blood. blood coming. Broken nose. Nothing. <laughs> he may die, but he will fall. Oh, this is done. So, if we knowing all this is done, but not following, then we are most wretched than even donkey, hawks, and pigs. We should not. I come to remind you. The words of Swamiji. Esi Bhakti Bhagavan. I come. I come to remains the words of Srimad Bhagavatam. Hmm? Then you are self killer. Nadeham Adam Sulabham Sulabham Plum Sukalpam Guru Karnadhar Mayanukulin Navasvateritam Puma 
na taretsa those who are doing all these facts and not falling, not coming in the boat of Guru, not in the boat of Harinam, without any sulk, <coughs> without any, come on, come on, all oh, boat is here. And you can, well, you can touch the boat and you see what? The crossover. What? Out of cross, we have crossed the endless birth and chain of birth and death, suffering and suffering. Really? Oh. I don't want to take any single farthing or shilling or pence even. Oh, only you should come and be in our world. Only we can. But I think very few are ready to come. Very true. So, I have come to remind you all that Srimad Bhagavat has told and Chaitanya Chaitamath Swain, himself Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has. Be very strong. Don't be weak and fall. Now, we are going to explain so many uh, objects and processes. Pairā Ramananda Sambha. Perhaps you have read. But try to go very deep to understand all this. If you will understand all these things at once, in a moment, tattva and vairāgya, detachment toward the desire, is bound to come. Sure you will. And if you are not honest, not sincere, then nothing will be there. Not even a line will chop out in your heart. See that? No, didn't. So, oh, Mukanda Prabhu told, you are invited for this thing. Take something, essence, from our discussions and this high class of association. And return back with, oh, wealth, transcendental wealth. And think that I know, we are now, oh, very wealthy by this. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took sanyam. Let house, let his most dear wife, newly married, no children. He kept nothing for their maintenance. He became totally <coughs> mad after Krishna. Oh Krishna, oh Krishna, he wanted to go to Vrindavan. But Nityananda wrote for that. Oh, it may be that his mother may die. And he should not be far away. And also, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was fearing to return back to Vrindavan. Because there is Govardhan, Jamuna, Jamuna Pulin, Rasastali, Bansi Bhat, and so many places. When he will go there, or Diyas may come and remind, oh, you are Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you are a very tricky person. Oh, you are Bansi Bhat. Hmm? You are moving the Krishna. Hmm? And then he will remind and he, everything will for which he has come. So it is sprinkle his mercy. What? To give Radha Nuga Vatma. This thing. And to relish Prem Rash Nidjas Ashwadan. To taste. And to sprinkle something, what? Which are not given even by Krishna, even. Not by Ram or any manifestation of Krishna. Never. How long? Since Brahma, one day, one kalp, day and night. 
it was first given by Sam Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So in long time it was not given. All the Acharya, Ramanuja, Madhvacharya, Vishnu Swami, Nimbaditya, Sridhar Swami, and Jayadev Goswami, Bilva Mangal, so many were there. They gave bhakti. But not so much bhakti rasa. Bilva Mangal, Jayadev, and Mithile, Vidyapati. Some semblance of, oh, Pyo Shri Madhacya Mai Bhakti Dege. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Bhakti Rash, and he taught all, inspired everything in the heart of Rupa Goswami to explain, and he explained. So we are very fortunate to come in in his line. So, Ragna Das Goswami, Kanto Puri, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then Kanto Puri, and then he went to south to search his brother. But really this was not reason. To give Rag more and with her love and affection, Hari Nam Sankirtan Hari Krishna. So oh, this was the prominent reason to go to South India. And by the oh, uh, Paramarsha advice. By the advice of Advaita Sadhana Bhattacharya, he went to on the bank of Godavari. In the morning he took box in Godavari. And then Influ Infulgent? Infulgent. Very beautiful and bright. Right. Oh, Mahaprabhu, Bal Sanyasi, yeah. age 24, you can know, in saffron cloth, very beautiful gondland, uh, like Srimati Radhika face, in beauty, and he was sitting on the pan and meditating something. Raya Ramananda came, oh, drum was there, thousands of ten minutes. Oh, they were reciting, oh, what? Oh, like, what? Your boat? Om Sahasra Se Purusha Chahasra Only a man can see it. He cannot stand sir. never. And here. And whole day and whole night, weeping, 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 weeping. So, he requested that you should come, and he told that I will come. So, some days, five, six days, ten, ah, days. ten days, I don't remember. And he stayed there, and daily in the evening, like a very simple person, Giving up his crown and garment, royal dresses. Oh, he used to come and hold light, weeping and weeping. They used to discuss. Bringing from where? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told that I want to hear. Oh, what is the object of person? A person. And what is the process? But I want to hear. The Praman, evidence. evidence from Purans, especially Srimad Bhagavatam. Authentic, not ordinary things. And then they began. Mahaprabhu told. What is Shabda and Shadhan? Yes, Sultan. Shadha and then Shadhan. What is Shadha? Goal or object. Goal or object. Of? The practice, the Shadha. Of life. Of life. What is the goal of life? This is Shadha. And what is the process to? Attain that goal. 
Like in this life, we think that our life goal is to make money, to be happy. Happiness is our goal. I think that hundred percent or maybe less something, a recurring sum, it may be. We want all to be happy, but we are not happy. And we think that we can be happy only making money. Money is centralized in our life. Even brahmachari, sannyasi like me, hmm? oh, our pocket is full of money. Because without money we cannot move. We think. And especially for grihastha. Whether wife is there or not, whether his wife has kicked him and her heart is injured, but even he wants a new wife. Picked by ten, but even he wants that very same thing and some money to be happy. And for this process, what is process? To work in factory day and night, like like animals, day and night. Even they cannot can earn so much money and not satisfied. Even the President of America, huh? oh, now is good. <laughs> Clinton was not satisfied by his voice. <laughs> he entangled anyhow in a girl, an office girl, and she also kicked him. <laughs> you know, songs? And that, that yeah, yeah, yeah. guy, you know, what thing? No. Prince. Prince. They were about to be king and queen. Oh, boy, beautiful two sons. And what began? They were not satisfied. Never satisfied. So this is the condition of it. So he told that you should read Sadha. And then Shodhan. How we can have? Oh, he told. What he told first, this Lord? Bhashana Shamma Acharata Puman Vishnu Aradhyate Natnatta Yo. Now, what is the goal? That box cannot help you. It may be broken. But this. Om Jnana Timurandasa Jnana Jnana Salakaya Chakshur Anvilitam Jaina Thasvai Sri Gurave Nama What you will hear from ear, you can forget. But what you will hear from here, oh, so try to hear from core of the heart. Understand, my dear friends? Thank you. Are you also hearing? Don't hear. Otherwise you cannot return to your home. Very big problem for you. <laughs> so if you want to be very happy in your family life, oh, don't come to us. <laughs> Association. Very bad, very bad. <laughs> then you cannot return, so be careful. Especially the persons who are set, set here, and Tila, Mala, and some books here, Bhagavatam. Oh, be there. <laughs> Free of course, they will tell that you should hear. I will not take any fee. And only hear. And what they will be? They will like birds and birds. Huh? 
So they want to make you all stand bigger. So bigger. You can be here, but do like this. He is very expert. You expert? <laughs> In aeroplanes, I have seen two airplanes. <laughs> so you should try to have. <laughs> Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has posed a question to Roy Ramananda. Oh, Roy Ramananda, please explain to me what is sadhya, what is the goal, the aim and object of life. Hmm? But you should not speak anything. Uh, from your own opinion, you should give some praman, evidence from Shastra to um, prove, to ascertain what is the goal of life. So first of all, when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu posed this question, Roy Ramananda, he gave a suggestion from Vishnu Puran. They are saying, Vanashamacharavata purushena parapumam Vishnurarajate panta here in Vishnu Puran, the advice has been given. Please understand that there is only one way to please the Supreme Personality of Godhead Vishnu. What is that? Vanashama Charavata. You have to perform your prescribed duties in Vanasham Dharma. There are four ashrams, Brahmachari, Vihasta, Vanaprastha and Sanyas, and four Barnas, Brahman, Katriya, Vaishya, Sudra. You should be situated in one of these Varnas and ashrams and perform your duty without any attachment, only for the satisfaction of Vishnu, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This is the way to satisfy God. There is no other process. So when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard this suggestion from Roy Ramananda, what did he say? Prabhu kahe eho baya agi keo ahaha Rai kahe Krishna Goes on to me. Rai kahe Krishna Krishna karma kane sarva sadhya sar First Mahaprabhu told him, this is external, you should tell me something else. So then a question comes. We have heard that Varnasham Dharma is very good, hmm? very essential, we should also, observe it. That Prabhupada also. Yes. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj. Srila Prabhupada told devotees. They get our Nagati, Varnasham Dharma, they are here, they are here, so follow. I also advise you all don't give up your wife and husband. Try to be whole life. Like Varnasham Dharma. This is the platform. So you should not divorce. If you are divorced, or oh, try to come back and be with them. If you are bhakti and oh you are now detached, no harm. Well, you can give up your family life, everything for Krishna, no harm. But you should try to follow. But what is the result? So the question has come. Why has Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu rejected this suggestion of Roy Ramananda? So we should know on the one side, what are the attributes of Varnasham Dharma? What is the good side? What is the positive side? Or the necessity of observing Varnasham Dharma? And on the other side we should know what are the defects what will be the result of following this path, the goal that can be attained? For all the jivas in this world who are conditioned souls, they will have to act in this world. And their actions will create reactions. If they will not follow dharma, religious principles given in Shastra, then the reactions will cause them to be degraded and they will go down and down and they will suffer. So therefore, the conditioned souls in this world, they must obey the rules and regulations given in Shastra. This is good for them. Mm -hmm. What does Varnasham Dharma mean? It means one should follow the Varnas and Ashrams. It means that one should obey his parents. It means that one should respect his seniors and superiors. It means one should give in charity. And there are so many duties in Varnasham Dharma. They can gradually elevate 
that living entity from the modes of ignorance to passion and up to goodness in this way. And if someone will very strictly follow Varnashram Dharma carefully, the result is either he can go to Swarg, he can go to heaven, like Harish Chandra and others, Shivi Maharaj, and so many Chandra and Dadichi so. Dadichi Muni. They had very good character. They never deviated from the truth. They carried out their duties, even in the face of the most difficult adversities. And what was the result? They can go to Swarak, they can go to heaven. Otherwise, if one will follow with complete detachment, one may attain Mukti. Not more than this. Not more than Mukti. So therefore, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he said, this is external. Why? This activity of performing duties in Varnasham Dharma, it is related to the body and the mind. Hmm? This is not Sanatan Dharma. This is not the eternal occupation of the soul. Hmm? Brahmachari is not eternal, especially these days. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> and green also, also, we are not sannyasi really. Yes. What we are? Naham vipro, na cha narapati, na pivaisha, na sudro. Naham bani, na cha gripati, no vanasto yativa. Kintu pratyan nikala paramananda purnam ritabde. Gopi vatuhu padakamalayo das, das, or das. She accepted this renounced heart of Mali. Mukunda Sevan Brata. Brahmanishtam matravesha dharan. Mukunda Sevayahai sangsarataran. She Chaitanya Mahapu said, I am not a sannyasi, only I have accepted this sannyas vesh. Why? Because it is bhakti anukul. It is very favorable for Parat Manishta to dedicate my life completely to Mukunda Seva, the service of Supreme Personality of Godhead. Say vesh kaila ebe brindavanagiya. Now I have taken this, I will go to Vrindavan and sitting in a solitary place, I will dedicate my heart completely in Krishna Bhajan. Very good. Thank you. What is something, for example, in Varnasham one thing, that sadhu may come to their houses. Right? There are two slopes. Mahad vichalam grihinam grihinam dhina che itasam Oh, oh sadhu, really sadhu. They can come in the house of Grihastha to take something for their maintenance and to stay in night. But why they come? For their benefit, not him there. So, what is really life? Like Narad moving here and there, like Vidu came to Dhritarast and to Pandava's house and make this trust. Told me you are blind. You were blind. External and internal No. Now you are more blind. Oh. What you want to see? Hmm? For all sons are killed by him. Hmm? And he is giving you some piece of chapati. Chapat, chapati like dogs. And you are taking. What more you want to see in your life? Most thing, anything? At once be careful. Give up this house. How can I keep up? I am blind. Oh, I will take you. No. In the midnight you should come with me. And he took and went to the altar and told the mantra. And told that you should be here. Don't return back to Yudhisthi. Yudhisthi and Pandavas came and they were weeping for Litra. But we never heard him. No, I will be here. But maintaining himself by the leaves, by fruits, by some ground nuts, and anyhow. And when a fire came, first fire. All began to run away. But he, Kunti and Gandhari were there. And fire came and they were in a moment. And at that time he took his 
soul, in mind and from mind to heart and from there to in Krishna. And he was liberated. So anyhow, in the Grihastha, there is chance that any sadhu can come. But we should not depend on that. Even it is external. If you are fully observing Varnashandhan, what he told, only Mukti can be nothing more. Or Swarga. Heavenly planet, not Mukti. Not even Mukti. So, what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told, oh, you have Bajja. Then Raraman Fartel, Shamrani, Jadurani. I want to finish this, not today, but in one, two days. And then I want to come and discuss some more things. I want you to tell some three past times of Krishna. The Lord replied. Now, oh, please stand up. The Lord replied. Oh, one and then. This is external. That was you can. You are young. You had better tell me hmm. some other means. Ramananda replied, to offer the results of one's activities. Sounds very sh okay, I, I like your song. <laughs> <laughs> to offer the results of one's activities to Krishna is the essence of perfection. He continued, O son of Kunti, quoting from Bhagavad Gita, all that you do, all that you eat, all that you offer and give away, as well as all austerities that you may perform, should be done as an offering to me. We are what is sat and what is process. Yeah? <laughs> The process is to offer the results of one's activities to Krishna and the goal of offering the results of activities is so that I won't have to suffer the results of my activities. Whatever I do in the material world, even if it's a pious activity, I have to suffer. If I give in charity, then I have to be born again as a rich person. If I give to a hospital, then I have to be born again and not get sick, but I still have to suffer birth, old age, disease and death, and what to speak of if my activities are not pious. So if I offer the results of my activities to Krishna, then I am free from karma. That is their goal, to be liberated. And the problem with that goal is it's personal. It's only in relation to my body and my body's happiness. It has nothing to do with my relationship with Krishna, which is the actual goal of life. Asamara, more explain something about this. Why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu rejected it? And what is karma? Karma karma is sansar sukhi ko bhajata hai. Karma karma is sansar sukhi ko bhajata hai. Jee to deshya hai. Sansar sukh nahi. Karma karma is sansar sukhi ko bhajata hai. Karma why is what to talk about Mukti? Same. But some superior. In Varnasham that nothing to offer. He is doing what he is doing. And following Varnasham that. But he has some service, superior. He is what he is. Vacha Patitanam Pamanipro Vaishnavipro Namo Mahavatanaya Krishna Prima Dharma Yudhaya 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 Krishna